Hey there, folks. So, got a uh, interesting game today. It's called uh, Familiar Fairy Tale, a dyslexic-based text adventure. And it's a game that tries to simulate the experience of being dyslexic, I guess, the best that it can. I'm not really, you know... I think the guy who wrote the game basically said he's not really sure if this is what it looks like when someone's dyslexic, but he tried to basically... Um, simulate the frustration as best as possible. I try to vibe that a little bit. So, um, how was the Super Bowl? Everyone enjoy the Super Bowl. I, I really thought it was all, it was awesome. The best part was when that guy uh, you know threw that ball and the other guy caught it, and uh, then somebody else uh, ran with the ball a little bit, and then uh, there was uh, some fan that ran on the field. I heard and oh, well, those commercials! Wow, those were really great commercials. I mean, yeah, those commercials were awesome. Such a great Super Bowl, uh, you know, I just, uh, it's probably one of the best I've ever seen, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And uh, after the Super Bowl, I wanted to just uh, do something different tonight. So normally, I, my, under my rotation, last night we played a Star Trek game for the TRS-80. Tonight would be a text adventure. Uh, sorry, it would be an adventure, not a text adventure necessarily. And I found this game, which is not really a traditional adventure game or text adventure game, so there's no, like, parser type stuff in. What it is, is, like I said before, it's a simulation of what it's like to be dyslexic. And you, you'll you see in a second, I'll click on the first screen so you can see what it looks like here. This is just the beginning, and it gets way more messed up as it goes along. Here, it's just like the, the text is sort of varying from line to line. Um, and also, I'll try to read it out loud, but the idea is there's it's a story, but then there's also decision points that you have to make. And the decision points apparently are timed, and you don't have a lot of time to actually figure out what the decisions mean, because it takes you know it's not so easy to read this stuff. Uh, if you can read this, then you're probably better than I am at this. So I'm sort of wondering like how long I'm actually to go. Um, I just had a pretty big dinner. I have my uh, soda here, but like this is gonna make me barf maybe. <laughs> so I won't barf barf on camera. If I have to barf, I'll turn it off and lay in the street. But like. This is not something which, like, is very, you know, I don't know if, if you guys are watching this, I apologize, you know, it's a little bit off-putting, but, you know, I guess this is what dyslexic people have to go through every day, so, just to read this here, if you couldn't read it, this page will hopefully help you in the pages to come, so pay attention and remember, it is easy. I think it was easy, except for that last word where they broke it up into multiple pieces. So again, I think the reading part is not timed, but then you'll get uh, choices which are timed, and are, the choices are like this too. So, and I haven't actually seen a choice, I don't know what it looks like, but my understanding is it's messed up like this, and, and it gets worse and worse with more noise. Also, just you'll see on the very first screen, you know, it adds like a flicker. The letters are moving, there's a flicker. <laughs> it's what I'm talking about getting nauseous. Like I can easily see myself, if I'm not really, really careful, succumbing to this. And by the way, you can turn off the, the flicker, you can turn off, like, change the font to make it more readable. You can also um, turn off all the all the distortion and make it just a regular, regular like, interactive story, but that sort of defeats the whole purpose. The whole purpose is to see what, through the eyes of this main character who has dyslexia. That's the whole point of it. So, I'm curious, by the way, if anybody who's watching this has dyslexia, if they have any, you know, thoughts in terms of, you know, is this at all realistic or, or not? Because I don't think the person that actually made the game has dyslexia, so. All right, chapter one, the plan. Once upon a time, there was a small, and I read this one's first screen, so I have an advantage on the first one. There was a small cottage attached to a windmill on the outskirts of a medium-sized Medieval town called D-Bridge. Okay. <laughs> you are curled up in a ball on the floor in the rafters of this little cottage. Your warm coat is red, soft and fluffy, keeping out the cold from the harsh winters outside. Harsh winter outside. Okay. Your older sister is asleep on top of you, also curled up in a ball, though because uh, she is much smaller, unless she's your older sister, I guess, you don't, don't get crushed by her weight. 
If anybody's here watching this, I please. I need you guys in the chat today, like to keep me sane. <laughs> oh my god! Quick, this is a taking away choices. What is this? I have a little bit of time here. Oh my god. Alright, let's pick this one. Quietly tell your sister to wake up. Because it was shorter. Oh my god. So the sec that one said quietly nudge your sister to wake up. The last one said lie there like the lazy crap you are or something. And the first two were too long and I didn't have a chance to read them. So, I, somehow this is also supposed to simulate dyslexia in some way. Like, they have a limited amount of time to read. It's not like they have a limited amount of time. They have to figure it out quickly, like in a, in a real life situation. So they got to make split-second decisions, so that's what happened to me just now. So at least I was able to read two of them, and I was just guessing. She stirs and wakes up slow and peacefully. Okay. Your, your grubs are... Your grubs ready? Shit. Your grubs ready, you... Tw <laughs> your grubs ready, you... Two lay about... You too late. You too lay about. Get down here this instant. Your mother shouts loudly in a disgruntled manner. Jeez. Oh my God. Shout will be out in a minute. While you have look around the room. Oh my God. <laughs> Run immediately downstairs. Just uh, something. What happens if you don't pick a choice? All right, I'll do this one. <laughs> See, Matt, Matt says, my, hey, Matt, my head already hurts from this. I'm telling you, like, this is not easy. And they don't give you, like, this, this at least I have time to read, but there's four choices on the screen, and I can't read all of them. But what, it's impossible. Quilted Northern. Hey, how's it going? This makes me want to donate to Dyslexia Assistant Foundation. You're a very kind soul, Quilted Northern. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's that's probably the intent of this, actually. I think it was developed in conjunction with, like, a, a charitable organization that, had, that helps people with dyslexia. You turn to look around the room. You notice that there is a... Now! You arrive at the table... Your mother is an old hag with a face full of warts. What? Oh, this is like a, supposed to be a fairy tale. This is actually evil stepmother. Quilted Northern said I got the now. <laughs> uh, a, sing a single monobrow and a slightly gray, slightly green tone to her skin like a toad. So she's a witch or something, it sounds like. She was soft and she was soft, soft and correctly accused of. Oh, she was often correctly accused of being a witch. Right, you know. You know the plan, yes. Yeah, thank you, Matt. <laughs> um, uh, sorta. Yes, of course. I don't want to say yes, of course. Let's explain me the plan. Sorta. Once more, just to make sure, follow the path. Man, this witch got really bad luck to have this. Like, this is the person that she's enslaving have, di have dyslexia. Once more, just to make sure, follow the path and stay, stay right and make sure you've left nothing behind. Okay. You know to stay on the left path, right? Did you say stay right before? That's in the left path. Don't, do not let anything distract you when you get to her. I, when you get to, when you get to their, their, the river, go forth with caution. Jeez. Sneak past the guards, singing your singing your light feet. What? Wait. So, wait. Sneak past the guards using your light feet. Climb up the wall of the second largest tower. 
not the tallest one. <laughs> I'm trying, Matt. I'm trying to do, do this for you here. But the thing is, I'm not going to remember all these details. You guys are going to have to remember this for me. And I'll probably have a split second to make a choice. The second largest tower and stay on the left. I don't know. Climb up the wall. Sneak into her room and take the chill the child from its bed. Oh my god. Am I like Igor or something? The Then get back here as quick as possible. It will be hectic until you get past the gates. Clone words that I'm not sure I drank too much for this or not enough. Why is the YouTube video we built a bike? It's too oh yeah, that's, it sounds like that actually. By the way, this is just the beginning. It gets worse than this. This is like the easy part as far as I understand. Huh? Two choices here now. No time limit. Eh, I think, I think we've got it. Or months E months more. Oh, M once more. All right, I think I, we got it. This is the easy part. I tap out now. You and your sisters. <laughs> you and your sisters. Um. Eat. Eat what? You and your sisters set out to on your journey. Set out on your journey. They try to make this as complicated as possible with the with the word spacings. We we'll went back to an old bike. Couldn't ride at all to relearn that way. That's interesting. Chap, see now there's put cues in here. So now they turn this P into a Q. They flipped it around to make it more complicated. Chak, chapter chapter two: the journey. You set out, you and you and see this this D became a Q also. You and your sisters set out to to set out on your mission in uh in, in on an animal form. An animal form, okay. You too are familiar with the force the four the four, four Stan. <laughs> You're, wait, you, <laughs> you, why is the flagging of the page to flicker? Just to make it harder, for Matt. That's why. <laughs> Let's try this again. Wait. For you two are familiar with the force, the forest. And know the way to the castle well. Jeez. You come to a fork in the road. Usually you would just uh, walk straight on, but acro across a. What? You usually walk straight on, but a, a, cro a crow is squawking at you Aquiv a crow is squawking at you <laughs> you're doing real well with this to do I think that's slowly page five yeah I'm I'm trying a crow is squawking at you and what says visiting advising you advising you to go left what di did your mother say again she said to go left also what do you do see they made the d's to q's now oh geez take the crow's advice and head in the left direction <laughs> i can't read them all but i'm pretty sure that's what it said Scott has G. Scott says, "What the f, my brain?" <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You're not usually the one to take advice from some bird, but the the seem the but these but the no but these. M. 
something, I don't know, these something concern, concerned for your safety, so this one seems concerned for your safety, so I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not me anymore. So, okay, now you understand, guys, why I said that I'm, gonna, this, this, I'm, I'm not sure how long I can go without throwing up. I mean, okay, first of all, <laughs> Matt's done, Matt's eyes are closed. I want to know, if you, if you guys are out, I get some props for being able to read this at all. Try, I mean, like, right? I mean, don't I get some props here? I'm doing the best I can. You cautiously cr uh, cr the eye strain is real. You cautiously bros pros proceed. This book. So this is proceed. Q R O C E E Q Q is proceed. You cautiously proceed. No, the first, only one Q. This is down the path. The branch branches from the trees are are around the path encroach more and more the farther you walk down the path. <laughs> You're in front of the door the Renegade props. I'll pitch in $5 for your autologous copay. Sounds like you're reading the Necronomicon. Is it doing a clicking noise intentional part of the game? Is there a clicking noise? I mean, I snapped. That You mean that? If that's a dramatic clicking noise, I was snapping my fingers. Matt has his eyes closed. There's like a, a... It sounds like a movie projector. That's what they're doing. That's this whole, like, you know, flickering or whatever. It sounds like a movie projector. All right, so I don't know. I, I forgot what I already read, but I read something about encroachment or something. Encroachment! Five-yard penalty! Repeat first down! Yeah, I think it's I think it is that bad. It's they're trying to be annoying. One looks like a monster and and you can swear it's watching you. Look what they're doing now. The letters are not like on even lines anymore. It scares you a little, but you keep on walking. Oh jeez. You've come this far, surely it isn't much longer. You see a break in the trees. Mother. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I read all four of them. It takes forever. You now wish you would have went the other way. Well, I went the way that she told me to go, so what do you want from me? Chapter 3, The River. Those four choices, one of them said... You, keep, you try to ignore the scary stuff and keep going. The second one said you close your eyes and try to get through it. The third one said you give up and turn back. So you, if you click on that one, it's probably a problem. And the last one said, like, you try to keep going. You're almost there. You can see a break in the trees. That's what I clicked on because I figured maybe that will make it shorter. <sighs> you arrive at a river. It is running fast, and it looks difficult to cross. What... Did your mother say again? Did she say something about the river? I don't remember. Does anybody remember what she said about the river? I just remember that she said, climb the second tallest tower. Before I go on, because it's probably be a choice right now, does anybody remember what she said about the river? Either If you remember something, please type it in the chat. If you remember nothing, please type in the chat that you remember nothing about a river, because I don't remember anything about a river. Nope. I wouldn't play this game without encouragement. I need like I need a cheer cheerleading squad here <laughs> to get through this game. This is like sort of tough. Alright. Cross later. Ask your sister. I like that one. She hates decisions and thinks that you should choose. Oh, wonderful. I think that, that was like a little bit of a prayer there. <laughs> well, I remember was my optic nerve screaming at me to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's try this again. 
Can, can I choose that again? This gives you some, some extra time. It comes floating down the river, screaming for help. A man, do you jump in and try to save him? That's weird. That's weird. I'll click on that one. It said, it said a man comes floating down the river asking for help. Do you try to save him? I clicked on that one. That's a question, though. I don't know what that means. Let's ask Scott's hot sister. <laughs> I don't think that was the sister they're talking about. Like a hero, you... J I didn't say I wanted to jump in. It just asked me if I was going to jump in. That was probably a mistake. Like a hero, you jump in the water to save a drowning man. He doesn't like the... He doesn't like the idea of a fox approaching him because I was an animal. And, and, where was I? I lost my place. Like the fox approaching him, approaching, approaching him, and at first, but soon, all oh, the legs are shaking now. I didn't realize it at first, but soon <laughs> realizes that you are the. You were there to assist. You see how the letters are shaking now? Look at this. You're passing your mental punishment is strong. I'll give you that. Yeah, thank you. It is a struggle, but you to make it back to shore. He tells you that he, that there is a bridge uh, upstream. This is us us stream. It's supposed to be upstream. But to be to be cautious as a troll lives there. Oh, that's nice. You arrive at the bridge. Cross the bridge, nothing bad will happen. Oh now I have no there's no time limit here. Proceed with caution, that seems boring that seems to ring a bell. Oh, that's what she said to me? Someone Someone is approaching. Hide behind a bush and see what they're up to. I like that one. Uh, you not. You notice a large. You notice a large ar, arm under the bridge. The arm of a bridge troll. He sometimes shave. Sometimes have a daily quota of havoc. Hide and nearby bush to see if it has already been met. Should I do B or C? There's actually there's some chance here. We're tying your stew. <laughs> I vote for a game change. <laughs> I already have gouged out with my eyes. Feels better looking at the screen. His letters look like an early episode of Dr. Cats. <laughs> the other on a type. Wait a second. Should I... Which one should I do? Should I... It says someone's appro cho choice B is someone's approaching, hide by the bush and see what he'll do. And choice C is very similar. It says just hide and see if anything happens. I think I'll hide. I'll see what, the what this guy does. The guy who's approaching. Someone arrives. It's it's two farmers. They seem to be looking for one of their farmer friends and cross the bridge. When all of a sudden. Step, step, for free, shouted an angry bridge troll. It reaches round the bridge, grabs both of them, both of the farmers, and lunch, lunch, launches the, the mint, launches them into the river. You are shocked for... You are shocked for. You are shocked. Wait a second. You are shocked from from your from you safe vantage point in this bush. It's a shame that that bridge. Seems to be the only way over. <laughs> if I, I could turn it off. I could turn off the flickering, but then like it'll, it'll be to be make it easier. You be for you be you be forth 
you find find for free at, at that what at that's what you mother meant by fourth why is she so cryptic sometimes okay so the person every fourth person goes for free <laughs> well you guys like turn it off turn it off please turn it off I don't have anything else planned for today this is I want to hear what happens next to the story the castle is on the horizon you real you you are almost there Chapter 4, Getting into the Castle. You approach the outer wall to the town. There is a moat, spelled wrong, and the wall is quite tall and made of stone and is rough in some places. Could make it easy to climb. There is a door with a drawbridge, but it is up at the moment. There are also tree trees overhanging the moat spelled wrong again might make a good starting point on the wall <laughs> do another page lay through a prince and the coward listen come on aren't i doing a good job reading this you guys <laughs> i'm doing such a good job here <laughs> i'm not like sitting through going like i think i can i'm reading i'm reading pretty well oh no Wait around till something, for something to, to behind them. Swim through the boat, climb the tree, and get a running start at the wall. I like this one the best. You climb up the tree and run to the end of the long, longest branch, jumping at the end. You met a fox. Remember, you managed to land on the wall and are a bet and are a blet. You are blet. Oh, you're able to scurry your way up, up and over the wall. <laughs> Stu, I'm reading well. Us, <laughs> dot dot dot. I like to see you try. What do you guys try this? See if you do, see if you can do better than me. Who wants to, who wants to join the stream here? I'll give me your phone number. I'll call you up. You can try it. <laughs> Gold star, Stu. You proved your metal mission. <laughs> Oh, come on! Don't you want to know what happens to the witch? You approach the... You approach the... You approach the... A couple of guards... It's bad grammar... And hide in a bush to figure out how to deal with them. No choice, I bet you. Oh, at least that's no, no timing. Walking, walk past the guards. You're a fox. They probably won't care. Wait for the ideal moment when they are changing positions using, using your stealth skills. Simply sneak past the guards. They seem stupid and you're well trained in stealth. Or throw something near the guards to distract their attention. Then sneak past when they are occupied. What do you guys think? <laughs> I see. Scott, you're funny. I'll start making stuff up. Larry saw the busty princess head. Matt says, your number one dyslexic simulator all-star. Colton Northern says, no one could do better. You win. I couldn't tell the slightest bit of what's happening in this story. <laughs> Great story in the end. All right, come on. You guys can help me figure this out. Should we walk past the guards? You're a fox. They probably won't care. Should we wait for the ideal moment when they're changing positions? Because I, I using my stealth skills... Should I simply sneak past the guards? They seem stupid. I'm well trained in stealth. Or should I throw something near the guards to distract their attention, then sneak past and they're occupied? Which one should I do? Come on, guys. I need some help here. <laughs> Great story. The end. Is hit the bottle an option? No, but I am drinking some, some Diet Coke. A, B, C, or D? Make it easy. Option E. <laughs> Click the X in the top right corner. Oh man! I, you know I will hand it to you. You guys are the best, the best chat audience possible. If not for this, this this would be total garbage. 
I mean, I'm, I'm actually, I, I'll be honest, I'm having a good time because I'm able to do well at this. If I was getting stuck here, <laughs> controlled X, if I was getting stuck here and I couldn't understand it, then I would be miserable. Like, I guess like you guys all are because I'm able to read it. I don't really have a problem with this game. Here, look. Can you, there's a, I can't do it now, but hold on, I'll show you in a second. First, let me cho help me make a choice here. Otherwise, I'll, I'll choose. I'll give you guys another 10 seconds to tell me an answer. And then I'm going to choose myself. <laughs> Just push the loots of my fridge. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, man. I want to watch out. If I, if I lose all you guys' as friends, I'll be in trouble. Uh, all right. I'll just pick one here. I'm going to throw something to distract. No, I'll, I'll wait until they switch positions, then I'm going to go. <laughs> here, look. Settings. Play mode. Normal. Continue. What? It went back to here? So you can turn all this shit off. Excuse me. You can turn the flicker off too. See, it's like it's a lot easier now. They, they didn't turn the flicker off here, but they still have this crap moving. But you could, I think, you can turn everything off. Yeah, there was a setting to see with the flickering. But like you're not supposed to do that. That's 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 you're losing like the whole point of the game if we disable everything. The flicker is still off, actually. You can make font open dyslexic. Supposedly makes it easier too. I don't know why this is easier, but I'm for a new support. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Come on. I don't gotta. I gotta go. I gotta like do this part again. At least I read it already. What did I do again? Oh, I forgot. I wanted to help the man or something. Yeah, help the man. Now there's a bridge, and I want to wait for the guys, the farmers, to show up. The troll eats them. I cross the bridge. Chapter 4. So why did it push me back to Chapter 3 if I was ready at Chapter 4? Alright, blah, blah, blah. There's a drawbridge. So I'm going to climb the tree. And take a running start at the wall. Alright, this is what I was up to. I'm going to pick, wait for the, the, the switch to whatever. He's <laughs> torturing us. Come on. The plan works, but takes a while. They must have just started a shift before you got there. You continue on further into the castle. Chapter 5, the tower. You are now confronted with not one, not two, not five, but four large towers. Good job by your... your Member, good good job. You remember which one to climb up. Which one did you, did mother say to climb again? It was the second tallest. There is a door with a drawbridge, but it is. What? Did it go back here? There's a door with a drawbridge, but it is up at the moment. There are also trees... Wait, it went backwards! What the hell? What? It's not fair. I got I got screwed because there was a bug in the game. There was a bug in the game. It go, it gave me the same screen that it did before. That, that that was the wrong place to put that, and then it went back and gave me the correct choice. And I didn't have time to read it because I was like, I, I took a moment to go like, what the hell's going on here? It took me that was BS. That wasn't fair. And I'm not sure if I made the right choice or not. What do you say? Remember Pully in his hands? Can you play things as God comics and control and power? He must be stocked, but I'm eating a hot dog, so... You climb the tower real, really quickly as it was... 
as it was so small. I, that's not the right one. I have a feeling that it's not the right one. Yeah, what? Well, because it wasn't fair. You screwed me over. That's not fair. Do I get another chance? You get to the top and lay on the roof for a few minutes as you know you're going to have to climb another another one and it had and and it that and it that will be the taller and the one you just climbed all right well you screwed me over blow me all right let's do this again one tower has vines climbing up it another has a hay bale at the bottom it's bigger than the first tower then next is a really small tower the final tower towers above it all right so it has to be b better be b the stew range rings holler for me he's screaming at a plot <laughs> for a plot that i've interested zero of i'm reading it to you like a bedtime story matt something about this tower feels right it is the Second largest after all. All right, okay. Um, you are a, you're a nimble little fox, and although there is no vines to help you climb, you get... You get... What the hell happened there? You get up in good time good time okay that's a little weird that's it got it, it got like even harder now it's like three different uh three different lines although there is no vines to help you climb you get up in good time so it got even harder uh Colton Northern says I want to know why Stu is apparently unaffected by this hellish flickering and it's going to the rest of your morals to gouge our eyes out. <laughs> well I guess one reason is because I knew it was coming and I prepared myself by drinking large quantities of whiskey before the stream. I, I, I didn't, actually. But I did know it was coming, so I was able to slightly mentally prepare for it. You move on to the next challenge. Chapter 6, getting what you came for. Oh, wow, okay. Now it's not doing that crap anymore. You enter the room. It is elaborately decorated with hang, hang painted wall wallpaper from a far off land and and a chandelier made of glass that must have taken months to craft and a long time to transport you think you've never seen such disgusting show of wealth in your entire life it's a collection of equi exquisite that's spelled wrong bastard when they spell things wrong it's not okay that that is where i draw the line when you spell things wrong that is not fair there's a collection of exquisite car carpets leading up to a large uh caught caught at the other side of the room what does a caught c-a-u-t i have no idea what that word is supposed to be oh oh quilted order this one i can actually do okay good sorry about what he was trying to connect tag law enforcement for a stew for cuity cruel to humane treatment Proceed with caution. There might be someone else in the room. Run directly to the cot. It's right there. And there's clearly no one here. Take a moment where to soak in the grand the grandeur of the room. Also, they changed a D to a T now. Um, and they spelled grandeur completely wrong. So I'm not sure if this the, the if the the misspelling is intentional or it's like or it's just that they don't want to spell. Look around, see if there's anything worth stealing. I'll proceed with caution. There might there might cue someone else in the room. I played no share games, take a sheet off the cot. I've done typing exercises that have more story depth. Remember, little cowboy? You you're, you're not able to pay attention to the story. That's the problem. You slowly approach the cot with light footsteps. You get there with no hitches. Sometimes it's better safe than sorry. And you've got this far. You shouldn't mess things up. You can't mess me up. The cot is in front of you. You peer in to see a young baby. This is what you came for. You lift the baby out of the cot. Luckily, it's still asleep. You never carried a baby before, and you are a wolf, so it's not the easiest thing. You hold the baby tightly in your teeth by the scruff of its pajamas. So you take the window out. You came in that way, so it should be okay. The way down is harder than up. Go through the downstairs. You deal with guards, but it's it's less scary than the window. Check it out. Put the baby back. Still, with your, go with your tail between your legs. 
Ask your sister what to do. I'll take the window out. Yeah, Scott, that was the whole point. I'm working for a witch. She's trying to steal a baby. See, what I'm not sure about is, like, I mean, I'm just, like, playing this trope of this, this, ev this evil, you know, dyslexic hunchback or something. I don't know if, you're, if you have any way that you can... Uh, so I was a fox before, Matt. I don't know if there's something you could do here, like you could like become a good guy or something, but I'm just going to follow the, the story. Also, no idea you're a wolf. I do not support baby stealing. <laughs> I was a fox before. You slowly come out the window. See, now I'm a fox again. I, don't think, I think they screwed up. You slowly come out the window. How on earth does a fox climb down a wall, you think, because you lose your footing and slip almost immediately. It's really a high tower. You take a moment to contemplate your choices till this point. What's this? Did I lose? Dot, 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 comma, comma, comma. I was going to say, you're still a fox, too. Thank you, Scott. Then you find yourself in a haystack with a crying baby next to you and your sister nibbling on your ear trying to wake you up. You slowly approach the cow with light footsteps. You get there with no hitches. Sometimes it's better. See, again, 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 they screwed up. This is this 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 text does not belong here. There's a bug in this game. I, this is this text was before. This is not okay. I'm not. Okay, I'm okay with you messing with me, but I'm not okay with bugs. And I'm not okay with bad spelling. This is this is you're crossing the line, game. This is really the second time you've done this. One more time, I'm gonna be forced to bring the hatchet down on you. Where's my Where's my axe? This is not okay. Seriously. Chapter seven: The Chase. It's like Pac-Man now. The screaming baby... Uh, screaming baby draws attention. Later... Late... Later... What? La lant lanterns in nearby houses are lit. This is where you may stand. <laughs> I'm okay with bugs. So the lesson aside, the best way to raise awareness of dyslexia is to give grown men eye strain and nervous breakdowns. You know what they should do? It should be like, this is the trial. You play this game all the way through, or at any point you can tap out by pressing a button that automatically donates like a certain amount of money from your bank account and like gives it to dyslexia fund. <laughs> you guys would all be tapped out a long time ago. I'd be like, no, I'm not paying. I'm getting through this game. <laughs> all right, so lanterns are licks. They heard me stealing a baby. That fox is stealing the... Royal baby, get him, get them, shouts, shouted a tall man in a crowd of angry villagers. I'll just link my bank account right to it. I'd be a patron for sure. You freeze for a moment. Um, freeze for a moment before a... Before... Right, you freeze for a moment before... Dashing toward, towards the crowd, it's, it's sound, what? It's so unfortunate that the way you, the way you, the way you tis, what? It's so unfortunate that the way out is the same uh, direction as the people, as these people. Jeez. You should have spent Patreon ahead of time and committed to continuing this game stream until a thousand dollars is reached. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's, a, that's a good idea. I wish I had thought of that. Like, it's not too late. I can still do it again. A villager approaches you from the right and lo lounge lounges at you somebody like launches at you not lounges at you or lunges at you he lounges at me it was like how do you lounge at someone it's like like that da -da -da -da. hey uh, maybe uh, i'm going to try to grab you I'm, I'm too busy lounging i think that's supposed to be lunges he lunges at you see that's that's this is what i mean though the bad spelling undermines the game it, it makes it much more unfair first of all for me to be able to read it and it really undermines like it makes me feel like they didn't really like take like proofread this or anything now i'm gonna have a choice i bet you 
He approaches from the left, so I probably have to, to run to the right. Yeah. Turn left. No, let's turn right. That was a close... A close... Yup. That was close. You narrowly avoid capture. Um, narrowly avoid capture. Desper... No, that's not right. They didn't proof you because they expect to actually read it. If you get notification, I'm going to shoot this game again. I'll cancel my interest. You guys are so funny. I wish that I wish that we, we had like... I wish that instead of just typing, there's like a little Mystery Science Theater you know, 3000 thing where you guys could all just chat about this. That was a close... <laughs> that was close. You narrowly avoid capture. Best... What is that word? Narrowly avoid capture. I can't figure out what that word is. <laughs> That's the legit truth. Yeah, it probably is the truth. Um, desperate, desper, des, um, I don't know what that word is. More carefully, more careful in future. Oh, best be more careful in future. They probably won't all be as slow as that one. Sheesh. You continue running and another villager approaches from the left and has a net. You think to yourself, the these guys are somehow very well prepared for this event. Well, I wonder if your, grand, your, your fairy grandmother sold you out or whatever, the, the witch. Does it ever actually end? <laughs> I'm sure it ends. It probably ends poorly if I make a wrong choice also. Go to the left. Go to the right. You make it past the net easily. You continue running. The exit is getting closer just a little more. Two villagers approach on the left and right with a net held between them blocking the middle path so they approach the left and the right with a net between them blocking the middle path that's a little bit confusing so I don't know I guess am I supposed to climb a tree try to go through the try to jump try to jump over the net let's try that Hever, what? What the hell does that say? Hever, what the? F he oh he. Ver, veered, he veered. They spelled that wrong again. He veered. That's how you spell veered. He veered left at the last minute. The last minute. Again, it's spelled wrong. So going straight was a great idea. Jeez. I just realized I hate the music playing in the background. I was playing the last pressure of my weekend this way. I don't know. Again, you continue running. You're beginning to get a bit tired. You wonder at what what do what at what point they will stop chasing you as as a single villager who looks looks rather nimble runs at you from the front, wait, runs at you front on the net. Wait a second. A single villager who looks rather... 
<laughs> I wonder at which point this hell, I mean, game will end. I think it's almost over. A single villager who looks rather nimble runs at you from... 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 Front? Runs at you front on the... Front on, then... At the last minute, spelled wrong, veers right, trying to anticipate your next move. Jeez. Go left. The villager looks disappointed in himself as you thunder past him with the baby still in your mouth. Sheesh. We're about the seventh circle as Dante described it. You are really, really close to the end of this damn game now, but <laughs> I, can, you're, I can say anything I want. <laughs> you guys won't know. I can just make up the story. Why am I, why am I playing so fun here? But, <laughs> but is it seems but it seems like they've saved the worst for last uh oh there is a large villager wielding a large weighted net nets a net spinning in a clockwise manner with all his might clockwise manner so I should run... Which way should I run if it's spinning clockwise? I should run to the left, right? Stu's like a sadistic version of the grandpa from Princess Bride. Go right. Go left. Because he's... You try other... Try through... Going through his legs. I'm going to try to go... Fine, try to go through his legs. You gracefully slip... I hope the baby made it through his legs, too. You gracefully slip... Slip... Slipped between his legs. I'm freaking graceful. You reach the end of the village and climb over the wall. Hopefully, you have lost the villagers and can get home to... Keep to keep mother happy. Do yourself a fear of treating your Princess Bride home movie. Okay. Chapter eight. Getting home. Oh, you, now you're trying to make it backwards. Think that's gonna be a problem for me? Come on. You run back, back past the castle walls, back past where you saw the bridge troll who likes uh, rubbish ripples or something. I don't know. Back past the place where you saw the browning man. Back past the obnoxious crow who may or may not have been telling you the right direct instructions. The... The crow... What the Q there? The... Something of angry villagers... Oh, the crowd. They made the D into a Q. The crowd of angry villagers is gaining on you, but you keep running back you hear the clink of pitchforks catch the uh dazzling f flot flitcher catch the dazzling flitcher of lit flaming torches oh flicker they spelled flicker wrong can you spell anything right here catch the dazzling flicker of lit flaming torches out of the corner of your eye you and your sister remember the way home well and quickly arrive at your house. You approach your mother, your mother house, not mother's, but mother. You approach your mother house and she is there looking very pleased with you. Won't be long till the angry mob arrives at your mother's cottage. Attack, attack, attacked to medium sized windmills. What? Attached to a medium-sized windmill. Okay. A choice now? Chapter 9, Home. No, that's just a backwards chapter. Whew. Your mother 
hurries you through the front door and slams it behind you and begins to to bolt and and lock them uh lock the the mean the the many bolts and locks on the door sit down they will be here soon and we need to get ready she says firmly she said firmly i'll cast a spell to keep them out and then explain their so the whole situation she begins moving her hands in the air, saying some mumbo-jumbo, hocus-pocus words. Sparks flew from the tips of her fingers and gathered above the cottage, then fell to the ground, forming a protective dome around the cottage. We know you're in there. Come, 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 and we won't smoke you out. Okay. Do I still have choices, or am my mother to make the choices now? She unlocks all the boats and locks and throws the door open. Then she storms to the to the border of the protective dome. The angry mob parts as a couple on horseback emerges. You notice the they are wearing crowns and hazard hazard a guess that this is the king and queen. They piss no, that can be piss. They dismount and look very angry. I don't blame them. <laughs> Stu Bird, Peter Falk, stole his hat, proceeded to clap friends out his eyes open. I should do this in Peter Falk's voice. And the, the angry mom. I, I can't do it so well. I, I gotta practice a little bit first. Where is she? screamed the queen. You will pay for this. You better not have hurt her, asserted the king. Now you will listen to me, says your mother in an authoritative tone. Something like my mother-in-law. The queen reaches out and tr and tries to strike the witch, but the magical barrier makes her hand bounce back. <laughs> Matt lost his mind. Now will you listen to me? Do you now remember me? I came to you saying that you had my baby and that there had been a mistake, but you threw me out like a crazy person. I'd say the crowd has no harm to you, though. Move closer, you're going to be review the show. <coughs> <coughs> Three choices were the crowd has no harm to you at the moment. Stay close, come, go closer, you're going to be review the show. That's what I picked. Number two was hide under the tablecloth. You can still hear pretty well from over here. And the third choice is ask your sister to move closer. This way, later, she can give you the details of what you missed. So I picked the first one. You walk out the front door and stand next to your mother. You know that they can't hurt you right now, but still you hide behind your mother's leg. When your daughter went missing, a man came to my... <laughs> Scott, you like my choice. Anyone else concerned? <laughs> Excuse me, I went to my lock. I was just reading it to myself quickly. When, <laughs> when, you, <laughs> when your daughter went missing, a man came to my... Uh, door looking for her and noticed my baby looked like looked a bit like yours and stole my baby then delivered it to you your mother said with rage <coughs> coffee now for some reason you didn't listen I knew your baby was out there so I started searching I looked for ages and finally found her and I finally found her. E. I finally found her. E. What does that say? I finally found her. E. E. Dan. E. Ben. E. Pen. I don't know what that is. I looked for ages and finally found here. A band, a band on, band on, abandoned, fear abandoned, oh, I finally found her, I finally found here, abandoned for 
dead outside a tavern to the east. Okay. There's an extra letter there. I came to your castle a second time to return your child, but again you turned me away, warning me never to come back with a penalty of hanging if if I did not come ply. Here is your daughter. You see, by the way, it just printed it properly, then it changed it. It's like it printed the right letters, then it used the algorithm to screw it up. Here's your daughter. Your mother gestures to you. You get you get very shy and feel like you're forgetting something. What? Oh, so I'm really the daughter of the king and queen? I stole the baby who's the daughter of the witch, and I'm really the daughter of the king and queen? Apparently. Oh, what happened? I didn't pick anything. I didn't pick anything. I just picked... F I... What the hell just happened? That was bullsh... That, what the hell was that? That was an accident. I don't know what happened. You remember that you're quite forgetful in animal form. Your sister tells you to get the birdcage from, from the spare bedroom. You rush upstairs to the spare bedroom and pick up a cage with a small bird in it. And carefully carry it back to your mother outside. I don't know what the hell happened. Here is your child, she said. I think that that I that that was a problem here. I think that I had a choice, and I probably could have been the child myself, but I pressed the wrong one because I because it didn't. It just it happened by accident. That was crap. I didn't want to do that. I want to go back. It's making it to the bird as the child. But I want to be the child. Let's do that again because something screwed up there. Oh, here we go. Quietly ask your ask your sister what your mother is talking about. Let's try that. Let's probably do the first time too. All right, I guess mean, it doesn't make a difference. That's the problem here. All right, so all right, I guess it makes no difference. So I got the bird cage. Here's your child. She said, pointing to the cage. What do you mean, you old hag? That's a sparrow, shouts the king. Old hag, said your mother, as she took a small vial spelled wrong from a chain around her neck and drank it. Sparks and wisps flew around your mother and a veil spelled wrong of youth fell upon her. Upon here. Why is everything spelled wrong? That the the mo the mob look, looked shocked and were stunned by her new f new youthly beauty. <laughs> There's no going back, Stu. Please just let this travesty work toward its conclusion. <laughs> she then turned her attention to the caged bird. She gently took the bird out of the cage on her finger and began to wave her hands over it. Again, sparks flew from her fingers, and the bird was transformed into a baby. This is your baby, she exclaimed. Why should we believe you? Birthmarks. All my children have a unique birthmark. She picked up the other baby. She, she pointed with her hand to the baby's foot, a sign of magic. And here and here, ass... That's... <laughs> and here and here, as she pointed at you and your sister transforming you back into your human form. Show her. Present your right foot to the crowd. I don't know. Which f you show your right foot to the crowd. I'm sure you noticed the mark, this mark, and though it may be some... Bra some brand branding for shot what I'm sure you notice this mark and and old and though it may be some something for child smuggling uh 
But I offer every youth, I offer you the truth. Wait a second, let me read that one more time. You also have a unique birthmark, Scott. Where is it? I'm sure you noticed the mark, this mark, and though it may be so, some, some bring, some branding, so, sober, I don't know what this word is, for child smuggling. But I offer you the truth. Now let us let us which let us switch back and leave all this business behind us, said your mother. Jeez. Thank you and forgive us, fair lady. How can we ever repay you to the king on his knees? Just never ever make us play this game again, she screamed. Don't worry, we won't. The magical <sighs> Dome faded away, and the two bar the two parties took their babies and left. The angry mob now seemed passive and grateful, and he and he. Get off Gak to Swark. <laughs> Seem passive and grateful. And. Hat and. Headed off back to. Towards the castle. Oh my god. And the oldest happily ever after. The end. The end. All right, well, thanks, for guys, who stuck around to this hour-long stream. I think the summary of this is it was interesting to know what it, to, what somebody thinks it's like to be dyslexic. I was, I think I did much better than most people would have done in this game. You guys were, like, trying to scratch your eyes out the whole time, and I basically got through it. I was even able to do the choices reasonably. So I think I played probably too well. I think it was a little bit too easy for me almost, and I'm not trying to brag. I just think I, my brain handled it much better than probably most people would have. <laughs> Matt says, worst stream ever 100 percent So the problem is, it was a bad game, and the reason why is because once you got past all that nonsense, there wasn't much there, and, I, and it was a struggle to get past the nonsense, but I was able to filter it out and get past it, and for you guys, you couldn't even get past it. You were just were like, your brain shut down like basically five minutes into the game and so all you're doing listening to me telling a very bad story about a fox and babies and god knows what <laughs> quilton north is my brain is mush and scott says it was only an hour <laughs> all right i want to know i want to know though you complained the whole time but you stuck around do you really think it was completely worthless or was it worth experiencing just so you had the experience. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> it feels like three hours, Scott says. Made by Alistair Lowe from Low Tech with Unity and Fungus. Wait a second. Music by Skidmore College Orchestra? It's Matt was right. It's like a five second loop. It's like do 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 repeat do 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 that's that's a Skidmore College Orchestra. You should be ashamed of yourself, Skidmore College Orchestra. Colton Orange says five minutes was sufficient for the experience. Scott says no, the game was interesting from a disability experience. Not worthless. Worthless suggests a break even <laughs> you guys are so bad. <laughs> it took years of my life. All right, well, I'm proud of myself. I got through it. I did not throw up. I actually did pretty well. I don't want to ever experience it again. I thank God that I'm not dyslexic. Thank God, as far as I know, only people that are, that are in the chat right now are not dyslexic. If you're watching this and you are dyslexic, I really, really, really would love to know what you guys think of this. If you think it was a reasonable... Um, simulation of dyslexia, or I think it was completely off base. <laughs> Scott's again quoting Princess Bride. Not to 50! 
Cool Northern says, Gold Star for you, Stu. Thank you, Cool Northern. You know I love to get uh, praise, so thank you so much. Um, but I think that's it for today. You guys are champs. Scott, Matt, Quilted Northern, you guys are champs for sticking it out this whole time. And uh, we'll be return with the stream on Wednesday with something much older. This is a 2019 game. We're going to play something older, more to a retro. I mean, this is pretty retro, though. I mean, it's it came out in 2019, but it's it's retro. I mean, like, it's running on an old piece of crap computer. It basically uses no CPU, no memory. It's just, like, text. <laughs> but we'll do something actually really retro, something old. Scott's is fun times. <laughs> all right guys thank you so much if you're watching this after the fact hit like hit like now if you're watching it now if you're not subscribed to the channel you're watching it and you want to be tortured some more hit subscribe but i promise there'll be no more dyslexia games on the channel after this this is, this is a one-off back back to something retro starting uh, later in the week hopefully on wednesday all right guys thanks so much i had a great time with you guys in the chat tell me all these funny jokes the whole time and we'll do this again soon have a great night everybody bye bye guys